In his latest op-ed on Financial Times, Capstone Investment Advisors founder and CEO, Paul Britton, ended up mentioning Bitcoin as an alternative to government bonds. The hedge fund manager, who holds over $22.5 billion worth of assets under management, advised asset allocators to look into cryptocurrencies as bonds lose their diversifying power in a risk-balanced investment portfolio. He further recommended gold and cash as alternatives to Bitcoin. Investors typically balance their portfolio risks by allocating 60% of the assets to equities and the rest to the government bonds. Historically, stocks and bonds have moved inversely to each other. Therefore, sovereign notes offset losses in the stock market. But the COVID-19 pandemic has changed the equation drastically. As the virus loomed all across the US, it forced the entire economy to go into a state of lockdown. It resulted in a global market rout, wherein every asset and index fell by record margins, including Bitcoin. Help came from the Federal Reserve. The U.S. Central Bank launched an open-ended bond buying program. It also slashed the benchmark interest rates to near zero, sending stocks higher, but bond yields to laughably lower levels. All in all, the Fed's strategy misbalanced the classic 60-40th's risk parity portfolio. Bitcoin was among the primary beneficiaries of the Fed's quantitative easing program. The cryptocurrency fell by more than 60% during the March 2020 rout, but still managed to recoup all its losses before traditional markets. As of this Tuesday, it was trading 150% higher from its year-to-date lows. Part of Bitcoin's gains also came because of its deflationary narrative. On May 11, the cryptocurrency underwent its third halving, a pre-programmed event that reduces its supply by half. That worked as a contrast to Fed's money printing policies, with many Wall Street investors recognizing Bitcoin as a haven against inflation. Legendary investor Paul Tudor Jones was among the first ones to make the comparison. In his investment letter published in early May, Jones announced that he is purchasing 1-3% positions in the Bitcoin futures market, adding that the best profit-maximizing strategy is to own the fastest horse. And now, with Britain mentioning Bitcoin as one of the alternatives to rebalance 60-40ths portfolios, the 11-year-old asset could attain a macro status heading further into 2020.